Let's get back here locally now and get another check of the forecast with meteorologist Cedric Haynes. It's looking really beautiful outside and different than what we've seen the past couple of days, Cedric. And that's right, Cornelia. Enjoy the nice, quiet, calm weather that we have out there for you today because, of course, every now and then we're going to see some active weather this time of the year. 51 degrees outside right now with a mixture of sun and clouds. So, again, not too bad overall. Notice that dew point down to 37 yesterday. That was in the 50s. So, we are definitely seeing drier air beginning to filter back into the Tennessee. Valley after a kind of a very humid and almost uh, drenching Christmas day that we had all across the region. All right, let's look at the numbers in your neighborhood right now. 50 degrees in Athens, 53 in Dalton, 51 Calhoun, uh, still in the 40s, so a little cooler still over towards Scottsboro and Fort Payne and also towards the Altamont area. As we have some colder air, the leading edge of that is trying to sneak in from the west and northwest there. So uh, we're going to be kind of battling that out as we go throughout today. Here's a wider view of the temperatures and you can kind of see what I mean. Notice here the warmer air that we've been stuck in where we had those temperatures in the 60s for Christmas now continue to push off towards the eastern Carolinas and down into Florida. But notice here as you get towards Nashville, temperatures are only in the mid 40s and we've got 30s back towards the north and west towards St. Louis and Tulsa. So that's with our upper level low. That's going to be our next weather system that's going to move our way. So as we look at the weather map again, we do have some scattered clouds out there, but also some areas of sunshine showing up. The storm system that we saw on Christmas Day that brought us all the heavy rainfall that most areas actually picking up one to two, if not almost three inches of rain across parts of the Tennessee Valley that continues to drift on off towards the north and east. As we look back towards the west here, we are watching this upper level low. We've been talking about this thing here since the weekend, and that system is going to break off and basically move overhead as we go throughout your Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And with that, it may bring us a little bit of uh, maybe more wintry like weather. You can see some of that going on now up towards Missouri, Illinois, over towards portions of Kansas as well, where they're still seeing some snow showers. Now this system is weakening, so it's not going to have that much moisture as it moves our way, but it is a system that we continue to watch for you. So here's the upper level low. And of course, with that upper low, the purple you see here, that's the cold air that's associated with that upper low. So it brings its own cold air. And as it rotates over the Tennessee Valley, going Going into your Friday, notice how that cold air mass, that bubble of cold air kind of centers itself over the Tennessee Valley, and that's what's going to at least start to cool us down a little bit. So as that upper low rotates on through, it doesn't have, again, a ton of moisture by the time it gets here, but it will have enough, and these things kind of act like a wet rag or a sponge, and they tend to squeeze out any available moisture. So you can see they're going to be the potential of some of these little spokes that rotate around this low pressure to produce some flurries and snow showers. Now, this is not the typical way we see a big winter weather event, but again, a couple of flurries and snow showers will be possible and even heading into the new year, we're going to have this off and on unsettled weather pattern with lots of clouds, a couple of uh, chances of precipitation and with colder temperatures around. That's something we'll be watching for you. Of course, as we look at the six to 10 day outlook, you can see the below average temperatures continue to remain kind of situated right over the southeast. Let's talk about today for you, though, a mixture of sun and clouds, temperatures in the low 50s. Now we're going to cross our fingers that we get into the mid to upper 50s, especially from Chattanooga and points to the east. If you are west up along the plateau, northeast Alabama, you may only get into the low 50s as some of that cooler air begins to filter on into the area here. As we take a look at the storm alert seven day forecast, you'll be able to see we go from 58 to highs in the 40s and lows in the 30s. And with that, maybe even a couple of rain showers or maybe a snow flurry or two as we get into your Friday. So we'll keep an eye on it right now. Maybe a dusting in the higher elevations off towards the plateau and the Blue Ridge. But right now, not looking like anything significant. Cornelia.